Okay, so we're almost ready to hook up the jQuery Lightbox plugin to our photo gallery, our thumbnail gallery. Um, first, what we need to do is we need to link the thumbnail images to the larger versions of those images. And Dreamweaver makes this very, very easy to do. We'll just click on the thumbnail image we want to link from, and then we'll go down into the link category in the properties panel, use the point to file icon, and click and drag it over to the larger version of the image. And I'll keep doing that for every um, thumbnail image that I have. Click on the thumbnail, go down to the properties panel, to the link, click on the point to file icon, and drag it over to the larger version of the image. Okay, now once you finish marrying up your thumbnail images to your larger image, you're going to start to notice that an annoying blue border has started to go around all of the thumbnail images when you create the link. So let's preview that in a browser and see what that looks like now. Okay, we can see there's nothing in Safari. Safari hasn't added the link, but when you go into Firefox, you'll see that the blue link is there. Okay, so we need to take that out, and we'll do that by going either to the Properties panel and in the border putting a zero. Or we can go into the CSS and take care of it all in one fell swoop. And I'm going to write a selector for all of the images inside of the holder div. So I'm going to type dot holder img and open and close curly braces and I'm going to set the border to none and then put a semicolon on the end and that should take care of the problem. When you press refresh you see that they disappear and they disappear in the browser as well. So that's fantastic. Okay, so I'm now clicking on my images to check that they open up and they're linked correctly. So I've just clicked on the ruins in Greece and that's opened up into a much larger image. Statue of Liberty, notice that all of the larger image sizes are completely different from each other. That's not a problem for the jQuery Lightbox plugin. We're going to start hooking that up now. Here's the CSS file. We're going to attach the style sheet using the attach style sheet icon. If you click on that, you can browse for the file and we've got ours in our CSS folder. So if you go inside the CSS folder and um, attach the jQuery.lightbox-0.5 and you can add it as a link as it is there and you can set the media type to screen and press OK and once you do that you'll see that it will appear at the top uh, just to the right of the source code and your current CSS document. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is attach our jQuery JavaScript library. We need to also attach the jQuery Lightbox plugin and um, put a function into the head of the document which will make the gallery transitions work. Okay, so here's the head of the document. Notice that you've just there's the CSS file that we just installed. It's just below our current Lightbox CSS file. So we need to create a space there just between the closing head and that CSS document that we can put in our jQuery uh, Lightbox plugin uh, script hooks for. So if you double click on the text uh, jQuery for head text and copy that code and we're going to paste in that just below the CSS document. Okay so here's our JavaScript function and what it does is it will go and find any um, div with a name of gallery, a div ID called gallery and it will find any link inside of that gallery div and it will attach the lightbox plugin. Our script hooks are just above that and uh, they're all, if you've got the folder set up the same way that I did when you got the download then this uh, this syntax will already work for you because it's uh, attaching to the jQuery library which is in a folder called JS and the Lightbox plugin as well in a folder called JS. So it should all be set up to run and work immediately. Okay, so let's check that in a browser to make sure it's all working fine. So I'm gonna click on the globe icon, I'm gonna save the changes and preview it in Firefox and click on the first link and there we go. You can see that it appears and loads up correctly and uh, we can cycle through the gallery now using the previous or next buttons you can click away to close it or you can press the close button if you want to um, and uh, yeah we can even add a title at the bottom of each image instead of it just saying um, you know photograph one of three image one of three or two of three we can put a title text in as well okay so back into the source code I'll show you how to do that let's um, if we click on our first thumbnail and uh, that will 
bring, show its position inside of um, the code and here we go we can see our div class fun and a link to our large building image so inside of that link the href just before the close of the angle bracket we're going to type in title equals and you're going to put a title uh, what you'd like to appear at the bottom of that image so I'm going to type a tall building and I'll do another one and we'll go into the images for the butterfly large image and I'm going to find the close of the link there and I'll type in title equals open quote and a big butterfly okay so I'm now going to preview that to make sure that's working correctly I'm going to preview that in Safari this time and click on the link you can already see it comes up with a tool tip that says a tool building okay so there we go and I'll press the next button and you can see that the butterfly image uh, is showing up with a title as well that's great okay so that's our completed lightbox gallery uh, now that I did include in the download an optional uh, background image it was a heart shape uh, background image uh, in white so it's called heart-bg.gif and uh, if you want to install that we can do that now we can go into the CSS we can find the body tag and we can type background-image colon and browse for the image and attach that okay so once you've chosen the image it should appear in your design view fantastic and um, I'm gonna adjust the positioning on it because if you preview it in the browser it would be slightly off so we're gonna set a background dash position and I'm gonna set that to center along the x-axis that will be right in the center of the gallery and I'm gonna bring it 70 pixels on the y-axis so 70 pixels down I'm also going to set the background to no repeat so background dash repeat colon no dash repeat semicolon and that will take out that little heart nub at the top there okay we're looking good um, okay so I'm also going to set a background dash attachment and I'm going to set it to scroll now you can set that to fixed and the um, Polaroid images will float um, above it uh, if you have say about 20 images there and that will look quite good it'll be quite a good little effect but this is our finished gallery I uh, hope you enjoyed making this tutorial as much as I have um, it's a completely finished working gallery and uh, this is James at dreamweavertutorial.co.uk and I'll catch you next time bye bye